Let's talk about how Walmart gives all their employees access to big data. Walmart, one of the world's largest retailers with over 20,000 stores across 28 countries, has obviously huge volumes of data. What they want to do is they want to give this data to all their employees so they can make better decisions about improving their businesses, about ma making better marketing decisions and so on. They are actually currently building the one of the world's largest private data cloud, around 150 petabytes. I think this is actually generating two and a half petabytes per hour just looking at all the transactional data. But it's pulling together about 200 different data sources from weather information to external um, events data and so on. And all of this is creating a huge repository. So what Walmart wants is it wants people to use it. And the challenge that I see with lots of organizations is they simply create these big databases, put a nice little front end on top of it, and then say, you're now going off, find your own answers, analyze this data, and hopefully you'll make better decisions. The challenge with this is that this is very often not leading to great results because people don't quite know what data is there, they don't quite know what are the right questions to ask, or they don't quite know how to analyze this data. Walmart has done this really well. They created what they call a data cafe, a state-of-the-art technology hub Starbucks, where you basically walk in, you grab a cup of coffee, and then you say, okay, let's sit down with, my, with a business analyst or a data scientist and explain what my business questions are. So for example, a marketing guy might turn up and say, we want to promote something that is coming up, the summer is coming up, we want to promote our barbecue season. When do people usually start buying this? What is the impact of weather data on barbecue sales? And then you can pull this data together because they have all of this in, inside their data hub and you can start answering those questions and they can make the right decisions. This data cafe has been so successful that they now created a virtual data cafe where basically you do this online. So you have a almost like a webinar. So anyone around the world can dial in. For example, if there's a, a, an Asda store, a Walmart store manager somewhere in the world saying, I've got this challenge. We've just had Halloween. We thought we would sell lots of those special chocolates that we've made for them, but at the moment they're not selling. Do we have any data on this? How does this compare with other stores? And again, you then have a conversation with the, the data scientists. They can show you how to pull this data together. And this is actually a real example where they realize that they have this chocolate in store, but it actually didn't go on the shelf. So again, the data was telling them it had arrived, but they were not putting it on the shelf onto the, into the right place so people couldn't actually buy this. This for me is a great example because it helps people to what we call democratize data, where you basically give everyone access to it. But instead of simply letting them lose on the data, you do a bit of hand holding, you help them, and you create this dialogue between the data guys, the data scientists and analysts, and the business guys. And this really works. So this is something I help lots of my clients do at the moment, trying to create this. and. Um, I've recently done uh, a project with Shell, for example, and again, what they, they call them these hackathons that they set up every few weeks where, again, anyone in the business can, can turn up, speak to the data science guys and say, how, how can we make better use of this data? If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.